Welcome to this video about COVID-19. By knowing the facts, you can take actions which can help keep you well. In December 2019, people in China began to develop a mysterious lung disease. As scientists raced to understand it, the disease began to spread around the world. Investigation revealed the cause to be a new coronavirus. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that cause infection of the lungs. Coronaviruses cause illnesses of varying severity, from the common cold to more severe diseases such as Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS, and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS. It is thought that a change occurred in a virus carried by the Chinese horseshoe bat, which enabled the virus to infect <coughs> humans. This new human version of the virus was named SARS-CoV-2 and the disease COVID-19. Through the rest of this video, we will refer to the virus as coronavirus. So, how does the coronavirus harm us? Our body is made up of 30 trillion tiny building blocks called cells that come in many different shapes and sizes. There are infection-fighting or immune cells, skin cells, and lung cells to name a few. Coronavirus is thousands of times smaller than our cells. The virus is made up of a protective coat, instructions on how to copy itself, and spikes to help it invade the cells of the body. Coronavirus is so simple that it cannot multiply itself. It needs to enter a human cell in order to do that. Cells have locks that prevent viruses from entering them. But the coronavirus spikes act as keys, which allow the virus to enter certain cells in the body. Once in the cells, the virus forces the cell's machinery to use the virus's instructions to produce more viruses. After multiplying in the lungs, throat and nasal passages, these viral particles mix with <coughs> mucus and saliva. When people cough, sneeze, talk or sing, they may produce a spray of tiny respiratory droplets. Even if you don't feel sick, if you have coronavirus in your respiratory droplets, you could spread COVID-19 to someone nearby. If a coronavirus-infected person touches their face and then touches common surfaces like doorknobs, they may leave viruses which another person may touch and move to their eyes, nose, and mouth. The younger, stronger, and healthier a person is, the more quickly they tend to clear the virus from their body. One out of four people who get COVID-19 have chronic health conditions such as high blood pressure, diabetes, HIV, cancer, heart, lung, liver, or kidney disease. These people are more likely to get sicker with the virus and to require hospitalization. The medical team in the hospital tries to support the patient's heart lungs and kidneys and to treat any other infections as the person's immune cells battle against the virus. Sometimes, even in previously healthy, strong people, the body's immune system severely overreacts and this can be life-threatening. There is no cure yet for COVID-19 
but doctors are identifying what medications help to get people better. People recover from COVID-19 when their body's infection-fighting cells finally figure out how to get rid of the virus. The body stores a memory of the virus and how to get rid of it so that a person doesn't get sick from it again. Scientists are racing to develop a vaccine against the virus. A vaccine trains your immune system to fight against an infection. By injecting people with vaccine, scientists hope to teach immune cells to immediately recognize the coronavirus as a threat. This way, if the real virus later does enter the body, the immune system can identify it and destroy the virus before the person gets sick or could pass it along to someone else. How do you know if you have COVID-19? The most common symptoms of COVID-19 are fever, <coughs> cough, and shortness of breath. Other possible symptoms are fatigue, sore throat, headache, muscle or joint aches, body chills, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, runny nose, and a decrease in sensation of taste and smell. Most people with COVID-19 have only mild symptoms or have no symptoms at all and go on to recover fully. The only way to confirm that you have COVID-19 is through laboratory testing. One test involves a technician putting a swab in your nose to collect a sample. If you think you might have COVID-19 and do not need emergency attention, Call your doctor or the national COVID-19 hotline number so they can tell you what to do next. You should seek emergency medical attention if your symptoms worsen, you feel very ill, or you develop the following symptoms. Trouble breathing. Bluish lips or face. Pain or pressure in the chest. New confusion. Inability to stay awake. Try to have someone call the emergency facility before you arrive so they can take steps to prepare for you and to protect others. The best thing to do is to avoid being exposed to the virus and to prevent its spread. You can do this by physical distancing, wearing masks, frequent hand washing, not touching your face, as well as self-isolation or quarantine if needed. Now, let's discuss ways to prevent the spread of COVID-19 in more detail. For physical distancing, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, recommends 2 meters, which is about 2 arms length apart. The further you stand from others, the less likely the virus can travel through the air and land on your eyes, nose, or mouth. Outside of the household setting, those who had close physical contact, <laughs> shared meals, or were indoors for approximately one hour or more with sick people, such as in places of worship, gyms, or the workplace, were also at increased risk of infection. <coughs> If you have to meet people, consider meeting outdoors as it greatly reduces the risk of infection. Mask wearing is not a replacement for physical distancing, but using these methods together is more effective than either on its own. Masks <coughs> decrease transmission of the virus by preventing the spread of respiratory droplets. Here are some mask success stories. A man flew 15 hours from China to Toronto, Canada, and then tested positive for COVID-19. He had a dry cough and wore a mask on the flight. All 25 people closest to him on the flight tested negative for COVID-19. Two hairstylists in Missouri, USA, who worked while sick with COVID-19, had close contact with 140 clients. The average contact time was half an hour. 
everyone wore a mask and none of the clients tested positive or later became sick with COVID-19. When you wear your mask, be sure it is clean and you don't touch your eyes, nose, mouth or mask front while wearing it. Washing hands with soap and water is very effective in destroying the virus before it can enter the body. If you don't have soap and water, an alcohol-based hand sanitizer may be used. If you think you may have COVID-19 but do not require emergency care, call your healthcare provider or the national COVID-19 hotline number for further instructions. Most people can recover at home without needing professional help. The sick person should stay at home and self-isolate in their own room if possible. The CDC recommends remaining isolated for 10 days from the start of symptoms with no fever in the last 24 hours without using fever medication. Most infections occur in people's homes, so it is important to use masks, physical distance, and wash surfaces and hands regularly. Despite your best efforts, you could still get COVID-19. This is why it is important to think about how you can improve your circulation, breathing, immune, and other vital systems in case your body has to battle COVID-19 in the months to come. It is important to get screened for medical conditions such as HIV, obesity, high blood pressure, and diabetes, and take medications as prescribed. Get your body in the best shape possible by making healthy changes in your lifestyle, such as quitting smoking, not abusing drugs or alcohol, avoiding processed foods, excess fats and sugar, eating more fruits, vegetables, beans and whole grains, and being physically active. COVID-19 is a global challenge. We each have a role to play in slowing its spread. By taking the steps outlined in this video, we can help keep ourselves, our family, and our friends well. By working together, we will overcome this virus.